this video I am going to review the product that recently appeared in my Amazon recommended feed spray-on nail polish. When I saw it I was so excited like this is the new and innovative product and then I googled it and realized that almost every blogger and youtuber already did a review about five years ago. But my excuse is I never tried it and also this is the different brand and five years ago I wasn't on YouTube yet. So I think it will still be fun to try it and the fact that most bloggers didn't like it and this product has a rather low rating on Amazon got me even more curious. I wonder if I can make it work. Let's get to it! Hello, I'm Anastasia. I love trying new nail products and spray-on nail polish is still kind of new to me. Fun fact is that I ordered both colors from Amazon and they have a different price. This party pink color was $12.99 while the red color is only $6.00. So I don't really know why the difference is like that even though the brand is the same. I'm going to follow all the instructions because this is very important when you want to make the product work, which means I will need a base coat and the top coat. And at this point I wasn't even sure if I have a regular air cured base coat to top coat because most of the time I use only light cured gel products, but luckily I do have a couple and they're also new which means we still have a chance. Right from the beginning I thought that spraying this product inside is not a great idea because I thought oh my god I need to protect all the furniture, all the carpets, like everything and then I thought of the fumes and I thought maybe I should do it outside. Let's begin. I still have my Halloween nail art nails, but the season is long gone, so it is time to take it off and then I can try the color on top and this way I will also renew my nails. Shake can. I ordered two spray bottles, party pink and racy red. And according to the picture on Amazon, these colors looked very different, like party pink is almost like a neon bright pink and the red one is more like a dark, but I think they both contain a little shimmer. So let's open them up and see. The bottle is pretty big, 38 grams each. This is my left hand with Halloween nail art. I think it's been three weeks since I did it and it is time to take it off, but I don't think I really need some kind of feel yet. So I will simply file off the top coat as well as the design because I did it on top of ombre and then I will simply have a background which we will use as canvas for trying this spray nail polish. I use Carbide Bead with green abrasive mark. The speed is 25,000 rotations per minute, but I'm doing this with a very light touch because my goal is not to remove the product but only to take off the upper layer. Since I didn't do fill, I decided to seal them with a gel top coat instead, so I will fill this area near the cuticle a little bit. And then I cure it for 30 seconds in LED and we have glossy nails ready for experiment. So let's start with the instruction that we have. I'm going to use a regular air cured base coat and this is actually two in one base coat and top coat and apply it on my nail. It feels so unusual. I can hardly remember when I last used something air cured. The biggest difference from working with gel products is that you cannot do like six to seven strokes. You need to do two, three, like five max, but it also depends on the product. Some of them cure really fast, some of them are slower. By the way, this one is pretty good. This one is by LA Nail Polish. I'm doing nails since 2004 for a very long time and when I started working we were still using regular nail polishes. So I remember this struggle waiting until it's dry, taking your clothes on carefully. So the most important rule of long-lasting nail polish 
was you need to dry every single coat like perfectly it should be super dry that's why i am going to wait for quite a while to let the base coat dry i think it took me about 10 minutes each coat of color also should be dried perfectly as well as the top coat I think it is dry by now. Are you guys ready? So I went outside, I took a piece of white paper and then I'm simply spraying it on. Since my goal is to cover the entire surface of the nail, I start from the cuticles and now we can see that half of my hand is already pink. It feels very refreshing actually, like you can feel this cool breeze coming from the spray bottle. And then I do this because I also want to cover the sides of the nails. I used party pink color on four nails and then I used this red on the thumb. For now it looks pretty good, I mean it looks matte. I even like this fact that my hand is also covered with a color. It looks like some fashion nails, you know, you will do for the photo shoot or for a fashion week. I took another break about five to seven minutes to make sure the color is fully cured. And then I seal it with the ear cured top coat. And this part I think is probably the most important because I need to seal everything, sidewalls, cuticle area, and if I will not apply it close enough to the cuticle, I assume this part may simply wash off when I will start washing my hands because this is what we are going to do later. I waited for a couple more minutes and realized that there is not enough shine yet and we will probably do another coat of the top coat and I used a different one. This one is by Revlon, quick dry top coat and I seal it so we will hopefully get a better shine and also I hope that it is going to dry quick. I'll be honest, I spent a lot of time on drying it in between the layers. I think this is actually the most time I spent it on. And now it is time to wash off the remaining part. I use a regular hand wash and warm water. And when I was picturing this part, I was really worried that it is going to get messy. Because I was picturing when you're trying to take off your makeup by using just a regular water and it's just everywhere but surprisingly it went off really easy normally when you accidentally apply some nail polish on your skin it is so hard to take it off but this one felt a little different it seems like it was sprinkled on the skin so like i said it was pretty easy to remove it so this is like the entire video of me washing my hands and this is what it looks like this is the final look and I have to say I am pretty impressed because this product actually worked. Honestly, it was super easy for me because I took airbrush classes a few years ago and the technique of application is very similar. I remember this rule clearly. If you will spray it too close to the nail or to the object the paint is not going to be applied evenly and also the layer will be too thick so it's not going to dry and also it may chip from the nail but as you go further you will have a thinner coat and a better application that's why when i was reviewing this low reviews on amazon and some people were even sharing pictures of how the product didn't work for most of them, it was obvious for me, especially by looking at the picture, that they were simply spraying it too close. That way, it is definitely not going to work. So when you move further, it will have a thinner coat and a better application. However, you will spend more product than intended, and yes, half or maybe even more than half will simply go somewhere outside your nails. Also, you probably know that when you spray something like in one shot, like there will be too much paint in the middle and the rest of it, the edges will be kind of faded. But when you press and just continuously keep pressing with the same pressure and apply it like pssss, 
<laughs> they will be a better and thinner application. And yes, we will spend way more product this way, but at least it will be applied evenly. We also need to consider the fact that I have acrylic nails and when you have acrylic or gel nails, it's so much easier to apply any kind of nail polish and it is also going to last, unlike when you apply it on natural nails. So it is going to be more of a challenge when you use it on natural nails. And also the big secret of having this perfect application close to the cuticle and even lie near the cuticle is base coat and top coat application. So even though the brand claims that it is super easy and anyone can do it at home, yes, spraying itself is not hard, but you still need to hand paint the base coat and the top coat. And this is quite a challenge, I have to say. Air-cured base coats and top coats are not the easiest ones, especially when you need to apply it with your opposite, non-dominant hand, especially when you're a home user. So I can imagine how frustrating and hard it was for people to apply it and why they are not satisfied with the product. Even though I think I kind of hacked it and made it work, I still think it's not the best product whether for home use or for professional use. First of all, it's the price. $12.99 is definitely too much for the can and it says that you can do up to 10 services within one can. But if you do it right, and sometimes you will not be able to do it right from the first attempt and you will definitely waste more product than intended, I think it will be even less. I would say with the certain skill and amount of effort you can make this product work, it's still not the great idea to use whether at home or for professionals. But I definitely had so much fun playing with it and exploring it and I hope you guys also had some fun watching this video. I would also love to hear your thoughts on this product and maybe you have some more ideas of the products you would like me to try. Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post product reviews and tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!